Welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Thursday, October 19th. On this day in 1781, hopelessly trapped at Yorktown, Virginia, British General Lord Cornwallis surrenders 8,000 British soldiers and seamen to a larger Franco-American force, bringing an end to the American Revolution. Today on the broadcast, I'll be talking about the Holy Spirit falls on the Gentiles. Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word, and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized? which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. The coming of the Holy Spirit. When Nathan started on his Antarctic expedition, he took with him a carrier pigeon, strong and fleet of wing. And after two years, two years in the desolation of the Antarctic regions, he one day wrote a tiny little message and tied it under the pigeon's wing and let it loose to travel 2,000 miles to Norway. And oh, what miles, what desolation, not a living creature, ice, 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 snow, and death. But he took the trembling little bird and flung her up from the ship, up into the icy cold, three circles she made, and then straight as an arrow she shot south. 1,000 miles over ice, 1,000 miles over the frozen waste of ocean, and at last dropped into the lap of the explorer's wife. She knew, by the arrival of the bird, that it was all right in the dark of the night of the north. So with the coming of the Holy Spirit, the heavenly dove, the disciples knew that Christ was alive, for his coming and his manifest working were proofs of it. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.